Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Father's Day is right around the corner, and who better to help us make some yummy treats for dad than my favorite nanny, the food nanny. Lizzie, how are you? Brad, I'm your favorite person, not just nanny. <laughs> you are. Listen, you make my day. You make the show. You make everything. And you make yummy food with the whole family. And we're talking Father's Day. And what a great gift because now more dads are at home cooking because, you know, they've been at home working from home. So they've been trying to take the weight off of mom. So the cookbook is a perfect gift for dad. Well, yeah, everybody wants to eat delicious, yummy food. And so really my starter kit that you get the book and then you get the flour and you're making all of these yummy things. I don't know a man that doesn't die for this dessert. It's our Blondie Caramel Cookie Bar. Who doesn't like a cookie with caramel and chocolate? Oh, my gosh. All right. Hello. What is what's in this? Stop. You're teasing me. What's in this? Okay, so what's in it is you're just making a normal like cookie bar. You've got some brown sugar, some butter, some flour, some baking soda, super simple. You make a layer on the bottom and then you bake it. And then you've got your caramel that you melt and then it's got Fanny's cream in it or heavy cream. And then you add a little bit of butter. So then you're melting that, you pour the caramel on top. Then, then you add milk chocolate chips and then you add the cookie layer on top. Oh. And then you bake it. It is deadly. It, it is so good. I know. So, I'm looking at that right now. Okay, I, I'm going to have to make that. I'm going to have to give it a try. Oh, you have to make this. Oh. And you know what is amazing? You can serve it warm or they're good cold or even after they're cool, you can cut them into bars and freeze them. And they last in your freezer for up to two to three months. Oh, so delicious. Okay, it is summertime. And so what a great time to also cook with the kids for dad or for whoever. And that's why your cookbook is so easy. Your family pictures are in there. You guys actually cook out of that book, don't you? Oh, Honestly, I am who I am. So when you watch me on Instagram and everything, that is real life. Like I am baking like this. I'm cooking like this. We are just all centered around family friendly stuff that they actually want to eat, but it's super simple. And really the whole family will eat it. None of this mom and dad eating something different. And then the kids are off fending for themselves. No, we're all eating the same and we're enjoying dinner and we're enjoying these treats. It's just portion control. That's it. That's what we believe. Ah, okay. Uh, the Kamut flour. Let's talk about that again. Let people understand that this is a very healthy way of, of cooking. Oh, absolutely. If you want to bake and cook with the finest ingredients, we have found the most superior white flour in the world. And that's not a joke. So Kamut is an ancient grain. It's never been genetically modified. It's naturally enriched. It's known for taste, texture, digestibility. It has protein in it. It has less gluten than any white flour in the world in it. It's crazy. And it upgrades the taste of everything you do. Most normal healthy flour they change and alter every recipe that you make. It doesn't taste the same. This does. It actually even tastes better. So it's a beautiful flour. If you want to know what your ingredients are, which we all now do, right, Brad? We care more. And so this is why it's like you want to cook with the best of the best. And this is what this flour is. Everything else is pure nasty, Brad. It's nasty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. And so that is why this book and, and everything that the Food Nanny does is so much fun and so great for the family. So, okay, changing gears. All right, let me, let me brace myself. You never know what's going to happen here when we bring this topic up. How are the cows? <laughs> oh, the cows are doing amazing. We've got a baby coming in a couple of months. It's crazy. She's due in September, and it's supposed to be a girl. If it doesn't come out a girl, I'm going to cry. I'm well, going to cry. Well, it has to come out a girl because you went online, and you got the broker. You did all this stuff. You moved money around. No, you invested. And the ultrasound, when he did the ultrasound, he's like, I'm 96% sure so he better, but I'm hearing these horrible stories that they can still come out. <laughs> but, but you were supposed to come visit the farm, and I guess you never will. You're what, not coming. What do you mean? It's, listen, this is the deal. I don't know. I'm, since, Quit playing with my 
my heart, Brad. Quit playing with my heart. All right, since we're family, I'm going to give you my family rule, especially those who live in cold places. I do not visit anywhere until it reaches at least 70 to 75 degrees. And I, I'm talking about during the day, not at night, uh, like here. But So is it warm there yet? Yes, we've hit that. We've hit that. You hit it? Okay. Then We're not at 110. I mean, you guys get up to too hot. I know. All right. So what's the deal? If I come, I, I get to work on the farm, right? Well, I mean, you just can, you can come morning or night. You can help me clean her off. You can milk her. You can have my special drink right off, fresh hot off the tea. <laughs> you, can have, you can help moose. We can go around. Look, we can get all my chicken eggs. Look at all my chicken eggs just from this weekend, Brad. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. I know. So and you look, Always different colors. Some are green, some are more blue. It's crazy. Why are they green? Is it Easter? Oh, different breads. Like, that's what's beautiful. My new ones, I have a new one that's going to give me a lavender color egg. Like, they all give you different colors. It's crazy. I'm on my way up because now it just got real interesting where you are, you got different breeds of cows, far, farm animals, everything. It's crazy there. It's a small farm, but it's a fabulous farm. And that <laughs> Freaking cream is the best you'll ever eat. All right. I like Food Nanny, tell them where they can find the book and Kamut. I can't stop eating it already. <laughs> I know. It's thefoodnanny.com. And I'm on Instagram. I cook every single day with you. Um, I just showed the bars on Instagram. So, yeah, it, thefoodnanny.com or the food nanny on Instagram. Okay. And... I deserve a do-over in making something with you. So next time uh, I'm either in person with you or you're in person with me or we do it over this way again, but I'm going to recook something that's going to turn out better. You can do it, Brad. Go home and make these. You will be in heaven. Heaven. <laughs> I, I will. Food Nanny, you thank, you. thank you. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.